some of the volunteers from Meals on Wheels, it was two individuals, two ladies, they actually helped save someone's life. They literally saved someone's life. The facts are that the gentleman that they saved was a man. He was about 95 years old. He unfortunately does not have any family on record. No one. He lives by himself. And think about that. The guy's 95 years old, home. And it was two weeks ago from yesterday. It was, it was a Tuesday. And these ladies, they're volunteers. They got to know this guy because he's been a client since December. And they were delivering on Tuesday. And they noticed that Monday's meal was still on the stoop. They don't deliver Monday. They noticed that the meal was untouched from the previous day. They didn't panic. They started knocking, ringing, typical protocol. No answer. Then they called them. They have the gentleman's information in the book. They started calling from their cell phone. No answer. And they sort of circling the house. They're looking in. They're knocking. They see his car in the garage. And now they start panicking. So they call the main office. or they call 911. Please show up. They literally ripped a screen off one of the windows, and they opened up the window, and they called in, and they heard him. He evidently fell, and he was face down. Probably over the weekend, he fell. He was down. He was alive, thank God, but couldn't move, and rushed to the hospital. And he's still there as of today, because I spoke to that volunteer. She actually visits him, because she's known him since December. I actually got to know this guy. so. The reason why I bring this up, I'm a volunteer with this group. It's called Community Meals Incorporated. It's a Meals on Wheels organization. And uh, it's important to me. I, I, it feels like I make a difference in society. That's why I do it. And I bring it to your attention because there's, there's a few ways you guys can help out. One is we always need volunteers. Two, Obviously, donations. Great. We need clients. Now, in terms of volunteers, there's two things that you guys can do as volunteers. One is you can be a substitute. You're either going to be packing food or delivering food. You can be a substitute. You can be once a year, maybe twice a month. I personally deliver twice a month, every uh, second Friday and fourth Friday. It takes about two hours out of my day each time. So it's four hours of the month. But I also do other things. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a board member. I'm in charge of publicity. And so I put a lot more hours in that. But if you guys can do something like that, it's great. Let's say you don't have the time, but you have some money, you can make a donation. It's great. The donations, something as little as $45 might not seem like a lot, but that actually can pay for someone's meal for an entire week. They get two meals Monday through Friday, that's $45. So a $45 donation can really make a difference. And out of the clients that we deliver to, it's 25, around 25% of the customers, the clients, are it's subsidized. So that, that type of an impact of a donation makes a huge difference. Last but not least is clients. This type of a service makes a huge impact. As you can see, what those girls did, I personally never want to experience anything like that, but what they did just proves how important this type of a group is, and they help make a difference. And again, that's why I do this. So if you know anyone that could use this type of service, get them in touch with us. They don't have the same resources as you, in terms of Googling and whatnot. So. We belong to a, a, a it's part of one of the largest organizations in the nation. It's the oldest and largest organization is called Meals on Wheels Association of America. It's been around forever. And it's about 5,000 programs that deliver meals throughout the states. The group I'm with, Community Meals Incorporated, just delivers to six towns. We deliver about 500 meals a week about 85 clients, so it's about 26,000 meals a, week, uh, a year. It's a lot of food that goes out, all volunteers, about 50 to 100 volunteers are constantly working, and 
again, there's 5,000 of these groups. I'm one of 5,000. So if you guys aren't in the towns that I deliver to, for instance, it's Allendale, Ridgewood, Waldwick, it's all Bergen County. You can go to the, the website of Meals on Meals Association of America. It's MOA, M-O-W-A-A dot org. And you can literally find any location and any group that serves that location in just about all areas of the country, especially if a, if a concentrated area like this, it's served. And it's good to do something like this because it helps you feel good in life because you're doing it. You're making a difference. And I, the, the, the slogan for, for Meals on Wheels Association of America is, so no senior goes hungry. That's their goal. And I just want to thank you for your time. Thank you.